But we begin this afternoon with the deep freeze and the icy mess out on Lake St. Clair. Chopper 7 flying this morning as the cutter clearing the shipping channel for the Great Lakes fr freighters that go from Detroit out to Lake Huron and beyond. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. All of this ice could strand thousands of people who live in Harsons Island and cause some flooding along the shoreline from Marine City North through East China. This is video of last year's ice dams compared to this year when residents saw flooding problems due to the big thaw. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirshner live for us in Marine City with more on this. And what are the conditions right now, Jim? Glenda and Brian, it's cold out here. You can probably see it on my face because I'm getting the wind right in my face. And of course, the big ice chunks out here on the St. Clair River. I can tell you that the water levels this year are down compared to last year, about 20 inches. That's almost two feet. But the big concerns are the winds coming out of the north can push all of this ice. Ice from Lake Huron down into here, trap the water and cause the shoreline flooding. That north, northeast or northwest wind it starts shoving that water down the river and we get we get more water flow and we can't manage that water flow. Take a look at the flooding at this time last year. Several homes underwater, some who have basements a half foot of water down there, pumps running to dry it all out. Residents are being told now this year to put up sandbags for the next several weeks. The good news is north of here, an ice bridge or buildup of ice near the Blue Water Bridge in Port Huron can block some of that bombarding ice from being pushed down. And how much you clear out here on this important shipping channel can be a balancing act. You don't want to just run 10 icebreakers through all day long because you've created twice the ice. So uh, every time you open that water, more can freeze and get underneath. And it's, uh, it's a lot of what we don't want to do. Over in Algonac, the ferry is running over to Harsons Island. They clear out their own channel to keep it running. Water has been frozen over a few times this season. That can strand thousands of people out on the island. This is their only lifeline out. It causes a lot of stress. You just make sure you got plenty of food, plenty of dog food, and watch the weather. One of the people waiting to get to the island visits her mother, who is also her babysitter. I have a two-year-old, so I worry about not being able to get across to him sometimes and a dog, so I have to change my whole day. Perfect weather. It's nice out. I love the cold. A couple of other guys are going to the island to get out and do some remote ice fishing. What do you got on? Uh, a couple of sweatshirts, you know, sweatpants, and throw my car hearts on and get under my shanty and have a big heater. It's going to be bitterly cold over the next several days, and Brian, the weather watch will continue out here for the next several weeks. Live in Marine City, Jim Kurtzner. Seven Action News. A lot of work to do. All right, Jim, thank you. Glenda?